Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here at Lone Star Boars, Huey Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about my top picks for 2021 and basically into 2022 for thermal scopes and thermal monoculars. Uh, there's, as far as I know, there's nothing groundbreaking going to come out. Everything that we have, the Thermion 2s are here, the Envision X series are here, uh, the Helion Pros are here, and the Envision Noxes are here. So everything that's going to be out for at least the next couple of years is here now. Um, we'll start out with what I consider is the top dog, the Envision Halo series, especially the 50 millimeter lens. The 50 millimeter lens is where it's at. And the reason behind that is everything inside of this is the exact same down to the part number as a Trigicon scope. And Trigicon has been the top dog for a long time but they use a 50 millimeter lens, which gives you almost the field of view of Trigicon's 35 millimeter and almost the magnification of their 60 millimeter. Their lens, even though it's 50 millimeter lens, when I put it up next to a Trigicon 60 millimeter lens, I get a farther detection range and a sharper image at range. It shouldn't do that, but they use a very high quality lens. So you, do, you get both bases covered where with Trigicon you gotta choose you want wide field of view you choose one if you want magnification you choose the other also this has a five-year warranty now this is the XRF this is the top dog Trigicon has nothing that's going to compete with this now this has onboard video recording 18650 rechargeable batteries Wi-Fi video out and a rangefinder on here that displays constantly the range in your screen out to I'm getting 2,000 plus yards reliably as long as it's not foggy or rainy. So any normal weather conditions, 2,000 plus yards on animals, non-reflective targets. This one is the most expensive scope in the Envision lineup, but it's still cheaper than the Trigicon Reap 60 millimeter with all of these features and a five-year warranty. So this one is $9,495. The next model down is the X. The X does not have the rangefinder, but it has the rechargeable batteries, the onboard video, and the Wi-Fi out. Same image, same internal, same menu system. It is $8,495, so $1,000 less. And then now the entry model was the one that we've had for the last couple of years. It is the Halo LR. Same internal, same image, but it does not have rechargeable batteries. It does not have onboard video. You can hook an external battery pack, you can hook an external recorder, but it doesn't, it doesn't have that. It's just a plain Jane scope. So that one's $7,495. That's a bargain. It does what the REAP 35 or the Trigicon 35 millimeter does, and it does what the 60 millimeter does in one package for a lot less money. We're talking uh, $1,500 less with a five-year warranty, a lighter package. Uh, it's polymer. I found this one is a as a newer one my lr which i don't have out here i've been using for two and a half years now and it looks brand new this polymer housing holds up very well now you've heard me talk about trigicon trigicon was my top pick in the last one of these i did they're removed they they cannot they're not keeping up envision has knocked them out of the game there's only one reason to buy trigicon at this point and it's because of the trigicon name you get cost you more money it does less and it has less of a warranty. So unfortunately, uh, they need to do something to, to catch up with the game. So Trigicon's not even on the list this year. For our budget and mid-range scopes, it's gonna be Pulsar. Pulsar, for the mid-range, their, their top flagship models are the XP50 and the XG50. Th these are the Thermions, and they look like a traditional scope. They take 30 millimeter rings, the XP50 and the XG50 are the same resolution. The XG50 is a 12 micron, which creates more magnification. The XP50 is a 17 micron, which creates a wider field of view. So if you're a coyote hunter and most of your shots are out past 100 yards, 200 yards, the XG50 may be for you. Resolution wise, I think they're very close. They look pretty much the same to me, but you get more magnification with the XG, so it's better for shooting at distance. 
The XP50 has a great field of view and a great image inside of 100 yards. For people that are doing like around here, a lot of hog hunters in Texas, um, it's a great mid-range scope if you're not going to go into the InVision quality. It cannot hang with the InVision in, at range. The farther out you go, the farther these fall behind. Cannot hang with InVision in high humidity, but it is a very good scope in most normal conditions. And at close range, especially 50 yards, there's not enough difference to 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 do the difference or to be a difference between them. If you're hunting around a lot of livestock, you want identification at range. You want a clear image and be able to shoot up close. Then the Envision's for you. But these are a good good mid-level scope for a good price. Oh, these um, the G, which is the extended range one is $59.99, the XP is $49.99. Then Pulsar has the Trail 2 LRF for laser rangefinder. This one has a laser rangefinder on it, it's the old trail body size, and it has the bigger batteries. For $1,000 more, an XP50 is $59.99, where the XP50 Thermion is $49.99. That's Talking about the bigger battery, that's something I forgot to talk about on these. These get a four to five hour, the Thermions get a four to five hour battery life, and that's in normal temperatures. That's not sub-zero, that's really not even, you know, freezing, but you, you get down lower than that, you're gonna cut the time. Now there are fixes for that. They sell extra batteries that you can buy. Um, I sell the batteries. There's also a external battery kit that when the scope is fully charged, it'll run you about 11 hours in normal weather conditions. Uh, but that's that's probably one of the only downsides besides it just being longer and having to take 30 millimeter rings the only downside to this it's a big plus for this because the battery it comes with runs from six to eight hours and then you can get a 20 hour battery that's an accessory that'll run 20 hours and it's awesome the range finder's good i found it on non-reflective targets really you know 300 400 yards um, it's starting to fade out at that range but in in inside of those ranges it works good on non-reflective targets and it's $59.99 good image smaller compact price great batteries if you're looking for the base budget entry scopes it would be the Pulsar XM30 it looks just like the Thermion everything's exactly the same it has onboard recording this one has a focus ring. The XM30 does not have a focus. It's fixed focus, but that will get you your entry level sub $3,000 thermal scope. I highly advise you to get the Thermion XQ38, which the XP and the XG are 640. The XQs are 338, so half the resolution, but it's still a good clear image. They have a focus ring, they have the onboard recording, everything's the same, and it's it's only slightly more. The XQ38 starts at $32.99, and you get a focus. So I would highly recommend that you save a little bit longer, and if you're getting the entry model, and get the XQ38 or the XQ50 Thermion. But if you're, I mean, I know I lived on paycheck to paycheck for a long time, so uh, the XM30 is the lowest one that I would recommend as far as weapon sites go. That, with Trigicon out, you really have two options if you don't wanna go into the higher L3s, which are $15,000, $20,000, $30,000, or the Oasis. Um, everything else is Chinese. IRA USA is Chinese. They, the box says made, assembled in Texas. It's to trick you so you don't know that it's made in China. The bearing optics are IRA USA under a different name. They come from China. The ATNs are now Chinese. The AGMs are now Chinese. Now, there's several other companies that are coming out. Everybody is using Chinese cores now. Chinese thermal cores come directly from the Chinese military. When you buy those to save, and, and the quality is not there. They're not even up with Pulsar. They're, they're, they're having issues, but even if they were the best out there, you're spending money that is going directly to the Chinese military. You're 
helping them, giving them feedback on how to make a better product. I have friends in very small military units. They are finding these scopes, these Chinese scopes on our enemy constantly. They're supplying Iran, they're supplying our enemies. You are supplying our enemy by selling that product or by buying any of these Chinese scopes. It is hard to get something without Chinese parts. Almost everything's gone. Well, fortunately, we still have some stuff that are made in the USA and that are very good quality. But you keep buying the cheap stuff, eventually that's gonna go away too. So please, for the love of God, spend the extra $500. Now Pulsar, Pulsar's got a French core, and there it's a, it's a former Soviet bloc country, Belarus. They hate the communist stuff. They're not selling stuff to the Taliban. They're not selling stuff to Iran. They are our friends. They lived under communism. They don't want it anymore. So there's my speech on that. Now let's go into uh, monoculars. This on my helmet is the Knox 18 millimeter. It is also an Envision. It works as a weapon sight or a monocular. As you can, oh, this is it right here. I'm pointing at a PVS 14. This is the Knox 18 over here. It is the si same size basically as a PVS 14. It is excellent helmet mounted thermal that 1x magnification, use 18650 batteries, no video recording, but it can also function as a weapon sight. It has a return to zero mount, but it's 1x. They also make a 35 millimeter. It doesn't work as good as the helmet mounted, but it works really good as a wide field of view scope if you want a small. It's not much bigger than the 18. It's basically the same size as a Trigicon Reap, but you save a thousand, $300 and you get a five-year warranty instead of a uh, three-year warranty with the same image quality except you get a focusable lens if you want to use that. If that those are out of your price range this one's 62 the Knox 35 is 67 we have the Pulsars this is their Helion Pro it's $49.99 640 50 millimeter lens video recording big battery this has got the 20 hour battery on it it comes with the six to eight hour battery but this is the 20 hour battery very good image so this would be your your mid-range monocular i've been using it for a long time uh, just upgraded to the pro the pro has a better lens more sensitive sensor for the same price as the previous models if this one is out of your range at 49.99 they have the this is the xp they have the xq which is half the resolution and we go down into the three thousand dollar range if you want the absolute cheapest ones you can buy, the Axions are the absolute cheapest. The image isn't that great, but it does work. The price is low. That is the cheapest thing that you're going to buy without going to some Chinese junk. So again, top it all off, Envision is top dog right now. Trigicon's kind of falling behind. Hopefully they'll come out with some stuff. Image is still good, but their price is high and it doesn't have all the features and you have to pick either field of view or magnification where you get both in this. Um, they've fallen behind on the monoculars, much smaller monocular, lower price, great image, helmet mountable, wide field of view with a rechargeable battery, and then the 35 millimeter. The only thing it doesn't have that the Reap has is a joystick, and I'm not a fan of the joystick anyways, you may be, and then the Pulsar. So if you don't want Chinese, you don't want to support the enemy, you're limited to Envision, Trigicon, Pulsar, you can get L3 and Oasis, but they're high dollar. You're talking $15,000, $20,000, $30,000. That's not what the average person buys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the phone number's on here. Give me a call at Huey Outdoors or go visit the website, HueyOutdoors.com. Uh, my, my stock stays current. I'm not like Optics Planet that shows something in stock and then calls you a week later and tries to switch you over to ATN. If it shows in stock on my website, 99.8% of the time it is. Thank you for watching.